Tuesday, October 16th, 1962. President Kennedy is shown these aerial photos of the Cuban landscape. To an untrained eye, they reveal no secrets, just stretches of harmless topography. But intelligence experts know better. Thus, the start of 13 days of crisis that bring the two superpowers to the edge of World War III, the closest the world has ever come to nuclear war. The Soviet leader's move to install those missiles in the Western Hemisphere came after a series of foreign policy debacles for Kennedy. After the Bay of Pigs came the Vienna summit. Khrushchev was convinced that Kennedy was weak, indecisive, that he could bully the young president into submission on a number of key issues. And Kennedy was, in fact, badly shaken by that meeting. He came away with the conviction that Khrushchev was determined to test him. And the first test came in the summer of 1961. Khrushchev was turning up the heat to force the Allies out of West Berlin. Days 5 and 6, Saturday and Sunday, October 20th and 21st. Navy and Air Force units are put on full alert. Allied leaders in foreign capitals are briefed. Congress is in recess, but Senate and House leaders are brought back to Washington. 